Okay, I'm reading The Cantanker's Crow by Leonard Helsing and Paul Stroyer. I'm probably not pronouncing those names right because they are from Denmark. Okay. Whenever this book was printed, I can't find a date right now, it was only $2.95. So, it's kind of old if it was that cheap. Oh, the Swedish. So it says, The Cantankerous Crow, adapted from the Swedish by Nancy and Edward Mays. There once lived the queerest family of crows, deep in a forest, as everyone knows. There was a crow father and a crow mother and four crow sisters and a crow brother. Caw, caw, one of the sisters sang a caw, caw song, but everyone thought it sounded wrong. The second one tried to write her name, but crow's footprints was all it became. The third made jam from good crowberries. The fourth built a castle like a fairy's. Look at all the different things. Like, what is that? It's wearing one set of shoes and all these other animals and things on the tree. And this crow building the castle, look, she's got a trowel. A farmer lived in this forest too with a garden in which his cherry trees grew. Those cherries grew red and sweet all about, and the brother crow's mother told him to keep out. Yet the naughty crow sneaked in for a treat, but the farmer caught him before he could eat. Uh-oh. He was shut in a cage that was carefully locked, and all around him the animals flocked. A goat and a bug and a very thin cat, a very fat cock, and a very small rat. The farmer told him to cut up some wood to earn his keep as animals should. So he cut the flagpole down to the ground, and chunks of firewood lay all around. Pump me some water, the farmer then said. He did it and watered the poor cat's head. Help sort the beans, the farmer's wife said. But the silly crow fed them to the hens instead. Then the farmer's son felt like taking a ride. So he caught the crow before he could hide. He was hitched to a wagon and the boy waved his hand. And the two of them galloped all over the land. They rolled up and down and then all about. Look at those mountains. There's someone in that house. What else? There's a church. And look at this. Why is there somebody coming out of the chimney? Hmm. Till the wagon tipped and the boy fell out. And now the farmer was really mad and he said, This crow is very bad. I think I'll go to the market and see if someone will buy this bird from me. The farmer asked those he happened to know if they were thinking of buying a crow. And everyone said, I might buy your honey, but for that crow you won't get my money. Well, this is a busy picture. You might want to pause the video and look for all the different things in here and what's going on. So, let's see. There's a horse getting his teeth checked. There's people looking at vegetables over here. Someone's looking with a telescope. Anyway, so he's not selling the crow there. Then the baker said, we might make a trade. And so with three cookies, the farmer was paid. The baker gave his new helper a cake. And then he said, you can now help me bake. <clears throat> but soon the baker got red in the face, for his dough was twisted all over the place. Stop, stop, he cried. That's quite enough. You'd better get going. You are spoiling my stuff. He opened the window and set the crow free, and he flew straight home where he wanted to be. 
All his sisters cried, We've missed you so! And Brother Crow said, That's a pleasure to know. And the sister who always wanted to write wrote a welcome sign that looked just right. And the sister who always wanted to sing sang him a song that was fit for a king. And the sister who tried to cook all the time baked him a cake that was perfectly fine. And the sister who had a big room to rent said, You can move in. It won't cost you a cent. Then before the crow brother went off to bed, he told them about the life he had led. And the father, the mother, the, and sisters four lived with their brother just as before. And that's the end.